Pharmacokinetics is a fundamental aspect of pharmacology that focuses on the movement of drugs within the body, encompassing various processes such as absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. These processes collectively determine how a drug is absorbed, distributed to tissues, metabolized, and eventually eliminated from the body. Absorption Drug absorption is a critical pharmacokinetic parameter that defines how a drug moves from its administration site into the bloodstream. This process is influenced by various factors, including the drug's physicochemical properties, formulation, and route of administration. The chemical characteristics of a drug impact its absorption. Factors like solubility, molecular size, and ionization state affect how easily a drug can cross cell membranes. Highly soluble drugs with faster dissolution rates tend to be absorbed more readily. Lipid solubility also plays a significant role in drug absorption. The size and ionization state of a drug molecule can also affect its ability to cross cell membranes. Smaller, non-ionized molecules generally have better absorption rates. The dosage form of a drug, such as tablets, capsules, or solutions, can influence absorption rates. For example, Solutions generally have a higher absorption rate compared to solid forms like tablets. Different routes of drug administration affect bioavailability. Bioavailability is the fraction of the active drug that enters the bloodstream and reaches its target site. Intravenous administration provides 100% bioavailability as the drug is directly delivered to the systemic circulation. Distribution After entering the bloodstream, Drugs are distributed to various tissues in the body. Factors affecting distribution include blood perfusion, tissue binding, and membrane permeability. Perfusion is the rate of blood flow to different tissues, and it determines the rate at which drugs are distributed. Tissues with high perfusion rates, such as the heart and lungs, receive drugs more quickly than tissues with lower perfusion rates, like muscle and fat. Some drugs can bind to specific tissues, which can affect their distribution. For example, drugs that bind to fatty tissues will have a larger apparent volume of distribution. The solubility of a drug in water and lipids also affects its distribution. Hydrophilic drugs are more soluble in water and distribute into the extracellular fluid, while lipophilic drugs are more soluble in lipids and can cross cell membranes more easily. Metabolism. Drug metabolism is the process by which the body converts drugs into metabolites that are easier to eliminate. This process primarily occurs in the liver but can also take place in other organs, such as the kidneys, lungs, and intestinal tract. Metabolism of drugs can include two phases, phase 1 reactions and phase 2 reactions. Phase 1 reactions involve oxidation, reduction, hydrolysis, hydration, or isomerization, which modify the drug's chemical structure. Cytochrome P450 enzymes play a crucial role in phase one reactions. Phase two reactions involve conjugation, where the drug or its metabolites are combined with endogenous molecules like glucuronic acid, forming more water-soluble metabolites. Some factors that can affect metabolism includes genetic variability, age, gender, and disease conditions. Excretion, Drug excretion is the final step in the ADME process, which involves removing drugs and their metabolites from the body. This process primarily occurs in the kidneys but can also involve other organs, such as the liver, lungs, and intestinal tract. Mechanisms of drug excretion Most drugs or metabolites are excreted by the kidneys. Some drugs and their metabolites are extensively excreted in bile. Other drugs can also be excreted through the lungs, sweat, saliva, and breast milk. Some factors that can affect drug excretion includes kidney failure, drug interactions, and some drug properties. Hope you've liked this video. Please support us by subscribing to our channel.